Hello again, I am here to show you how to install Need for Speed Carbon on Linux and we will additionally be adding the Redux version for this game. As you can see here in the original video, there are two versions of this mod, the light and the main version. I'll be installing the main version for this tutorial, but you can install whichever version fits your PC configuration better, because the installation method for the mod is exactly the same. You can download the mods from the original creator's video that I'll be leaving in this video description. I suggest you start decompressing the file once downloaded because it's kinda heavy. Here I have the three folders that I'll be using to install NFS Carbon. Starting with the game folder, where I have the game compressed. You can download this file in the video description, small note. I had to compress this file with a password so my drive doesn't flag it as strange content, sorry for that. For my following videos I'll try using different hosting methods. You can also try downloading your own copy of NFS Carbon on the official Discord. We decompress the file using the password shown on screen and wait. Now that the game file is almost finished decompressing, I'll be showing you some of the dependencies that according to the original Redux mod documentation, are needed for the mod to run properly. I also have here in this other folder the mod. Remember that I'll not be hosting the mod but you can go download it from the original creator's video. Now I will start extracting the mod while I briefly explain the dependencies required and why is a good idea to download at least the C++ runtime. As you can see in the readme file it has a dependency on DirectX and C++ runtimes and this is where I got those files that I showed earlier in the video. Now that we are done downloading the C++ runtime, we can go to Leutris. The situation with this game's installation is kind of different than the video I did for Need for Speed Most Wanted 2005 because this game does not need to be installed which makes the process of adding it to Leutris a little bit more complicated, and here's why. When you try to add games to Leutris, the most secure way is through an installer which is the second option Leutris gives you. In this method, Leutris automatically creates a wine prefix dedicated for your game located wherever you tell Leutris to store your game. And this wine prefix is very important because it contains all the configurations and libraries the translation layer uses to run the Windows game. So in this case, instead of installing directly the game to the wine prefix, we will be installing the C++ runtime which is an actual installer into the prefix. In this case, we continue as usual. The game will be called, as it should, Need for Speed Carbon, so it will get the correct thumbnail art from the metadata. And I'll be installing the game in its own folder inside a folder called Leutris, inside my games folder. This is mainly because I like to have my stuff organized, but you can install it wherever you want, as long as Leutris has read and write access to that location. You can add it to Steam or your desktop if you want, I personally don't. Now here in the setup file part we will be installing the C++ runtime dependency because, as you already know, the game executable file is not a setup, but a portable runnable game. And we hit install, this will start the configuration of the wine prefix and as soon as that's completed, it will prompt the setup for the visual C++ runtime. in which we will hit install. When the process ends completed, the game should show up in our game's menu, but here's the important part, we still have to configure the correct executable for the game to run. As I previously said, I like to have my stuff organized so I'll be putting the game folder into the wine prefix in an accessible location.
in this case, the desktop folder inside the prefix. So now I can go to the game's configuration and set the correct executable for the game. Now we are going to go to the runner options and DLL overrides where we are going to put the key D input 8 and the value N, B. We hit enter and go directly to configure our graphics card so the game runs on the correct GPU. Now, we run the game. Hi, I'm Emmanuel Vosier. The moves that you and your crew do in the- And here we have it. This is the base version of the game, and as you can see, it is running on the correct graphics card. Usually the process of installing other mods or vehicle models is the same as Windows so you can surely apply the logic of those tutorials most of the time to this installation and they will work. But now we are going to install specifically the Redux mod. You should also read the README file if you are interested in doing modifications to the mod configuration. But I'll be leaving everything by default for now. Disclaimer! Remember that by doing the Redux installation you cannot go back to the default game installation and you would have to install it again or replace the NFSC folder with the original if you didn't delete it. But the game saves can be corrupted switching between the modded and the base game. We go to the decompressed mod folder and copy everything that is inside of it. And now we go to the game folder we just transferred to the wine prefix and paste everything inside of it. Here we apply to all and writing to. And here we apply to all again and overwrite. Now it's pretty much done. You have your copy of Need for Speed Carbon modded with the latest Redux mod. And we are now going to test the game. So in this case I had my game crash. Fortunately I could find what the cause was, if we take closer look at my GPU consumption it was pretty high and I don't have a very strong system. So, I'll be trying the light version of the mod. The installation process is exactly the same so I'll be fast forwarding the process but still showing it to you. Now that I have installed the light version, as you can see, my GPU is finally resting and it doesn't crash anymore. Hope you found the video helpful and happy gaming! Thank you.
Jason, let's keep racing. 